Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a reaction to our Flyers' hard fought, hell of a third period game that they lose in the skills competition, breakaway competition shootout, four to three. This is a game the Flyers again had a very ugly second period. But what you want to see in all makings of good competitive compete to the end teams that have a chance to be top contenders is that high class compete level at the start and at the finish. And like Coach Elaine Vigneault said in the post game press conference, <clears throat> they, even in the first period while getting outshot, competed really well with the land of opportunity team, very opportunistic. Connecting blocks one down at center ice, then he's able to kind of hesitate the defense enough, making them think he might pass it to Limblum or shoot. He shoots it, picks the spot while hits the net this time, and scored. And then you have G make a brilliant move, looking like he's going to go to the backhand, come over and deke the best goaltender in the land, Andre Vasilevsky, who's the hardest guy to deke, which we saw in the shootout. He has like an 86 freaking save percentage in a shootout. And that's really how the Flyers lost this game. It was the difference of the two goaltenders, which is what we thought the game would come down to. Hart had one goal that he obviously would want back, the Stamkos goal. The Stamkos looked him off a little bit, looking like he might pass, then he shot it from the odd angle. I think we've seen Jeff Carter score some goals like that before. But <clears throat> that's when Carter would definitely want back. It happens. G picked him up and got the wrist shot goal to let us get one point, have a hell of a third period, and be able to fight to the end to get that one point against another team. Again, that is one of the better teams, well, one of the best teams in the league, for the Tampa Bay Lightning, and we did the same thing against one of the better teams in the league in the Calgary Flames with another world-class goaltender in terms of Jacob Markstrom. It's just the toppest of the class is Vazzy, and other than that off goal, Carter Hart stood right on his head with him. You're not going to beat the Lightning in a shootout. I hate to break it to you, especially when you're the Flyers who are historically awful in shootouts. You're not going to beat a team that has point and stammer even without Kucherov. They're still deadly in the shootout. And Vasilevsky is one of the best shootout goalies of all time, statistically. So, good luck with that. But this was a game that the Flyers honestly showed just a great character game. This was a, you talk about character wins a lot. This was like a character loss just because they battle to the death. You want to be able to obviously clean up the middle. You want to be able to play a better full 60 and not have a second where you have Alex Kalun look you off and then have a no-look pass to Joseph who's wide open in front and you don't box out the front of your net well, which is a key component of a hockey game to be able to play the good defense the Flyers team has been playing this period that they did not do as good of a job in the second. And that's when Carter Hart really had to bail us out a lot. And then you, of course, put them on the power play. You had penalty trouble. You had the penalty issues in the second, which were the big key transitional point of this game that started putting it in the Lightning's favor that was able to give them the momentum to be able to get the ties and then Braden Point was able to score on a tricky play that Hart had no chance that he was able to get it in the in, or excuse me in the slot and then Point was able to backhand one in so in this game the only one Carter Hart really had a chance to stop um, because the shootout comes with skills competition point and Stam are absolutely deadly in that in that spot and Vasilevsky's pretty much unstoppable in the shootout at I think it's like 86 percent or something freaking ridiculous like that so other than that the um <clears throat> Flyers did play a nice consolidated very good first period that they were a land of opportunity were able to get it going and Carter Hart stepped up when needed but a lot of the lightning shots they also were able to keep them to the outside as well and didn't play a bad defensive period. The second was bad. The third was brilliant again. And a contender, you always want to have a very good start and finish. If you're this good of a team that has very good compete level, very good character, I mean, you had a play that last year, there's no chance the Flyers have a chance to come back with the way that that team would respond to adversity that one squeaks through for the first time all season on Carter Hart. And you still battle and fight to the death. You pull the goal, you have more opportunity. And then on the one opportunity by the captain, oh, captain, my captain, still one of the stars of the game, the second star of the game, as far as I'm concerned, um, because of how well he played with the first star of the game. You will likely have to give to Steven Stamkos since he was able to get that one to squeak through. And he also, if I remember correctly, <clears throat> I believe was the guy that passed it to, yes, he was the guy that passed it to Braden Point as he was setting up from the OV kind of central position on the power play. And then you were able, that was the penalty Braun took and then, pen, and, then, and then penalty and then Point was able to score because 
of the power play and the penalty Braun took in the slot there. So that was just an undisciplined second period by the Flyers that bit them in the butt to allow the Lightning to come back after having a very good opportunistic first that Hart played well and the team played well by the Konechny goals and the Giroux goals. Then a hell of a third period that got them to the overtime. They responded to the adversity after the whole Hart goal. This is still, a, there's losses, even, there's wins obviously that you always build on and grow from, but there's even losses that you can build on and grow from in the adversity of a loss in a game that you played a hell of a game. And this is one of those examples where this is a team that's a two-time cup winner back-to-back -back and have a hell of a chance to win three in a row. The next game's against Boston, who's still a very good Boston Bruins team, but not the same catch as the Bruins, obviously, that we have known for years to it recently that were always consistently a cup contender in the mid 2015s up until 2020 and now it's kind of the end last year and now it's kind of they're just a very good team that I don't know at this point of the season at eight and five the way they played on the ice and watching some Bruins um games and watching NHL now and watching and listening to all these other podcasts if I would consider them a contender for the cup right now so if you play the lightning this well I think this is a very good sign going into playing a team like the Bruins. And then we have to go down to Tampa to play the same Lightning. So getting a win against the Bruins, or at least a point, would be huge for the Flyers on Saturday. And if they play like they did in this game, you're going to beat the Bruins, in my opinion, compared to the Tampa Bay Lightning, because they don't have Andre Vasilevsky, the Boston Bruins. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant night. This has been a reaction to Flyers' hard-fought 4-3 to loss in just the breakaway contest. You know how much I hate shootouts if you follow my channel for a minute now. And it is what it is. This is a character loss, honestly, that the Flyers team can build on. We saw them have that great fight mentality. This team has the most togetherness of any team I've seen in a while, probably since the team that made the run to the Stanley Cup, of course, led by Bush and Michael Layden, of all people. So, yes, who knows? Maybe we can do that. But stay safe, everybody. And I'll be back to preview the Flyers game, of course, on Saturday against the Boston Bruins. Peace out, everybody.